Hey friends, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video. So today is Tuesday. It is um, the day to vote, but I already voted. <laughs> I did early voting. I didn't have to wait in any lines. I walked right up, voted, and it was so easy. My husband, on the other hand, he tried to go vote this morning and he waited in line forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I was like, why didn't you do early voting? But anyway, so the kids are off school today. Um, it's at a, a teacher in service day. We had a parent teacher conference for Madeline this morning and that went really good. She's doing really good in school. Um, and so now I am off to Goodwill for a little bit and then we are all gonna go to lunch later on. So I'll check back with you with you in just a second. Okay, so I just got done at Goodwill and I was going to show you guys everything that I bought. I haven't made a video like this uh, in a long time, so I thought I would. So I was um, going down the shoe aisle and these caught my attention. I saw this logo right here. <laughs> so they are a pair of Tory Burch wedges. And then you can see the little logo there on the back. And there's the bottom of them. I paid $10 for these and I saw on Poshmark uh, they're selling anywhere from 40 to 50 so I'm hoping to get at least a minimum of <clears throat> 39 you know to $40 for these so I'm excited about that plus I just have, like to have nice name brand stuff in my uh, closet that's a store a second ago I might have said store I meant to say closet Poshmark closet and then I got these Anne Klein little black slippers almost like they're real they kind of look like those teaks, but they're not. And they got a heel on them and they're Anne Klein. It says, yeah, Anne Klein Sport. They're kind of dirty. I need to clean them up, but I tried them on and they're super duper comfortable. So I'll be keeping these for myself. These look cute with um, some jeans this winter. Um, because you know, most of the time I'm wearing flip flops down here in Texas, right? Sandals, but sometimes we do have cold spells. So, and when we do, I like to wear closed toe shoes. So yeah, $6.99 for me, so not bad. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I saw these, I had to do a double take. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> these are crazy shoes, oh my God. <laughs> Look, there is, uh, there's goldfish in the hill. <laughs> crazy, crazy. So, um, and then I picked them up, turned them over, and I was surprised to see they're only $9.99. So I looked these up, it looks like new they go for about, I don't know, $56. So I'm hoping to maybe get about 30 to 40. I don't know about the <clears throat> availability of them, if they're um, readily available or not, but it's crazy. Look, you can actually see the screws where they screwed down <clears throat> into the heel. So yeah, that's crazy. And the fish, they actually move, like they can move inside of there. Isn't that crazy? And the brand is fun. Tasma step into fun. The only thing is I can't find a size. I'm pretty sure they're men's shoes. They're called Pimp. It says Dash O2 all man-made material. And then there's a series of numbers, but nothing that looks like a shoe size. And I've looked on the tongue. I can't find anything. I'm thinking the shoe the shoe size was on this sticker right here, but I can't read it anymore what the size is. So I might just end up having to um measure them I found them in the men's section that's why I think they're men's plus I mean well I could see ladies wearing these too but they just look really big for ladies so crazy crazy and then I've been trying to scale back on the plush that I'm buying lately because um, plush is big it takes up a lot of space so I did find another damn it doll I love this floral pattern I've never seen one quite like this, so this was uh, 99 cents. I'll probably put that in my antique booth. And then this is super cute. It's a little plush unicorn, and it is made by Cuddle and Kind. And I looked up on eBay, and some of these can sell for pretty good money. So, and I didn't see a unicorn one, so I'm hoping to uh, sell, sell this for some good money. It looks like it's like shedding a bunch of fibers or something. So yeah super cute little unicorn and then um, picked up a couple ties I haven't sold some ties in a while this one is a really fun print and it is by Nicole Miller and it is a doc looks like a doctor's tie 
So it's got like a little heart there, a little doctor with a stethoscope, um, a prescription. So I thought somebody might like that. I thought the ties would be a nice item for me to offer on Poshmark for the men because I don't really have a whole lot of men's stuff and I always, you know, I want to participate in the parties and stuff. So I thought if I scale up, you know, the amount of ties I'm selling, maybe I can start partici participating in more of those parties. Plus, uh, ties are really small and easy to store. They don't take up a lot of space, kind of like jewelry. So this is the other one I got. This one has some pelicans on it and it's by Nola Couture. And here is the brand right there. But yeah. When I first saw these animals, you know, of course, I'm thinking like Vineyard Vines or uh, <clears throat> Salvatore uh, Ferragamo, Ferragamo, however you say it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it wasn't. It was uh, Nola Couture. And uh, yeah, so I'm sure this will probably sell for at least 20. Ties are $2.99 at Goodwill, so they've kind of gone up in price. And then just two more items. I did pick up a couple pieces of clothing. These were actually 30% off. This one's a little shirt, it says Stay Golden. It's a size medium and it is by Grayson Threads. And I looked this up on Poshmark. It looks like the highest one, one just like mine, same size and everything sold for $25. So that's what I'm going to aim for. Um, this was probably, this was $5.99 with 30% off. So. I don't know what the exact math is on there, but oh my God, it's so soft. I wish it was my size, I would keep it. Um, then the next one, this is the first time I've ever found Maeve, you guys. I'm pretty sure um, Maeve is an anthropology brand. Um, I watch a lot of uh, Jenna's videos, The Empty Hanger, and she's always picking up this brand. And it's like, I think it's like a tunic or like a dress, turtleneck. It is a size medium, and then there is the brand, the label, and so it's like a turtleneck. You can definitely probably wear it as a dress. It's navy blue and white striped, and then this is the bottom. This one was also 30% off because it's a blue tag, but I actually found it on the rack <clears throat> whenever you, um, whenever they first wheel stuff out. So I don't know if somebody had pulled the blues. And I was just looking at that because usually I won't go through and look at all the clothes, clothing that's out on the <clears throat> display racks. But if I know it's new stuff coming out, um, like whenever I first get there, I always check like the center of the store. That's where they just kind of roll that stuff out until the employees can put it out. And so I'll always check the brand new stuff coming in. And that's where I get the bulk of the clothes that I do sell from. Like um, this morning I listed a, a yummy dress. It's uh, Y-U-M-I. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it was brand new with tags, and I had found it um, on one of those uh, uh, clothing racks whenever they just will them out. So that is my haul for today, you guys. So I'm gonna head home, and we are all gonna go to lunch. I feel so bad I'm not gonna be able to do the reseller stew today, but not, it's not every day my kids get off school like this during the middle of the week. So um, we are gonna go to lunch. Dad took off work. So we are going to have a little bit of family time. So I want to thank everybody for watching my quick little video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like the video and share it with your friends. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.